This video vessel ports explained. Before see that, please subscribe Iron Gas Professional. Keep in touch with us. The head, the end enclosures of a vessel, they can be either semi electrical, spherical, or dished. Shell, the cylindrical walls of a vessel. Nozzle, the tie in connection between the vessel or equipment and the piping system. Nozzles are provided in locations where your commodity is either introduced or removed from your vessel or piece of equipment. Nozzle orientation The angular arrangement of nozzle around the perimeter of your vessel shell. Nozzle projection Is to establish the distance from the vessel's center line to the nozzle space of your flange. Base plate A flat metal ring welded to the bottom of your vessel's supporting skirt that rests on concrete foundation holes around the perimeter of the metal ring make it possible to position it over anchor bolts and secure it to the foundation. Skirt A cylinder shaped support for a vertical vessel. One end is welded to the base plate allowing it to rest on the foundation and the other end is welded to the bottom head of a vertical vessel. Skirt access opening An 18 inch ID hole 2 feet 6 inch above the foundation that allows workers entrance for inspection and maintenance. Skirt bends Equally spaced holes approximately 3 to 4 inch diameter board near the top of the vessel skirt that allow toxic and explosive gases to escape. Skirt fireproofing Generally brick or granite fireproofing is applied around the interior and exterior walls of a vessel skirt. It is necessary to prevent damage to vessel skirt in case of fire occurs. Reinforcing pad a plate counter to the shape of a vessel shell. It is positioned around nozzles and provides additional strength in the areas where metal was removed from the shell. Manholes, similar to large nozzles that allow workers entry points into a vessel, they generally are 8 inch ID and are accessible by ladders and platforms. When not in use, the manhole is sealed with a blind flange. Manhole hinge, a hinge that creates a pivot point allowing the blind flange attached to the manhole to be easily removed for worker entrance. Seal plan. A tray installed below the bottom tray in a vessel to prevent liquids from bypassing the tray. Trays. Flat metal plate spaced approximately 18 inch to up 24 inch apart inside the vertical vessel. They can be bolted or welded to the vessel shell. Trays are perforated to allow rising vapors and falling liquids to pass through the, with the aid of valving mechanism called a cap. Bear a dam like plate welded on a tree that allows a fractionated by product to collect and be extracted by nozzle. Down commas opening adjacent to a tree that allow liquids flowing over a wear plate to fall to the tree below and begin the fractionation process over again. Insulation Rings Continuous circular rings welded to the exterior of a vertical vessel that support a vessel insulation. They are typically spaced on 12 feet centers.
saddle. U-shape supports welded on horizontal vessels and exchangers. Saddles are bolded to concrete foundation and create a cradle-like support in which the vessel can rest. Lifting legs do not shape rings welded to the vessel shell or head that allow the vessel to be raised and positioned during insulation. Please share the videos with your friends and colleagues. Please subscribe Ayangas Professional. Thank you.